Hello everyone, this is Andrew at Crown Academy of English. Today we are doing a video about 10 interesting facts about the English language. So fact one, the longest word in English has 45 letters. Here it is. And I'm sorry, but I'm not going to try to pronounce it. It's far too long. But um, the meaning is it is a type of lung disease. So it's a medical word. So 45 letters. Fact two. Look at this sentence. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Well, this sentence uses every letter of the alphabet. So if you notice, if you look carefully, you can see every letter of the alphabet is in this sentence. So we often use this sentence to practice handwriting or perhaps to test a new pen or a keyboard. Okay, so it's a very useful sentence. And this type of sentence is called a pangram, a pangram, because it contains every letter of the alphabet. Fact three, I am. This is the shortest complete sentence in the English language. So it's just two words, the subject and the verb. I am. And this is allowed as a sentence because the verb to be is in fact a linking verb and therefore it does not take a direct object. So that is why the sentence only has a subject and a verb. And let's look at an example of this sentence with the context. So Jane asks, who is hungry? And Mark replies, I am. Okay, so I am, the shortest complete sentence. Fact number four. The letter E is the most commonly used letter in English. And in fact, it represents approximately 11% of the language. So it is the letter that is used the most in most words. Fact five, the letter R. The letter R is the most commonly used consonant. And just for information, the second most commonly used consonant is the letter T. Fact six, there are more English words that begin with the letter S than any other letter of the alphabet. Okay, so S is the most common letter at the beginning of a word in English. And the explanation is, well, if you think of all the words that also begin with SH, with the SH sound. So there are lots and lots of words that begin with the letter S. Number seven. Rhythm. Rhythm. So this is the pronunciation. Rhythm. The meaning of this word is it is a strong pattern of sounds and it's often used in music. And this word, rhythm, it is the longest English word without a real vowel. So the real vowels are A, E, I, O, and U. So notice that there are none of those letters in this word, rhythm. So an example sentence with the word rhythm. 
he plays the drums with good rhythm. Fact 8. Cueing. And this is a special word because it is the only English word with five consecutive vowels. See them here. We have U, E, U, E and I. So they are all vowels. And consecutive means in a row, one after the other. So this is the only word in English that has that. And this is the ing form of the verb to cue. And to cue means to wait in line. There is an alternative spelling with only four consecutive vowels. So it's cueing and this one only has the u, e, u and i. There isn't the final e. So both of these um, spellings, these variations of the spelling, they are correct, both of them. It's the same word. So let's look at an example. They are queuing to go into the cinema. Uh, sorry, they are queuing to go into the museum. Queuing to go into the museum. So they are waiting in line. Fact nine. There are seven different ways to pronounce the following letters. O U G H. So this combination of four letters is very common in English and there are in fact seven ways to pronounce them depending on the on the word. So let's look at them. Rough Doe Thought Plow Through Burrow Cough Okay, so notice, so here I've put the IPA transcription here. So this is the pronunciation. So notice that the pronunciation was different for each, each word. So unfortunately, this is a common cause of confusion for English learners. This is very, it's very difficult for English learners to understand and to learn this. And in fact, these are seven ways. In fact, there are two other ways as well. There are nine in total, but the other two are very rare. So I didn't mention them. Fact 10. This is a question for you. Can you think of an English word ending in the letters M, T? Well, in fact, there is only one word that exists that ends in MT. And the word is dreamt. Dreamt. This is the pronunciation. Dreamt. And this is, in fact, the past simple form of the verb dream. So let's look at an example. Last night, Jane dreamt about a new house. Jane dreamt about a new house. So this is the only word in English that finishes with the letters MT. Okay? So, please tell me, what interesting facts are there in your language? And tell me in the comments below this video. I'd love to hear um, the interesting facts about your languages. Okay? So that's the end of the lesson. Um, would you like an online English lesson? Perhaps you would like to practice your speaking or maybe have some private lessons to prepare for an exam? If so, 
then you can click here for the prices.